Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chrissy and this is Life Talk. And tonight I was supposed to be recording different videos for you guys. I wanted to do a second pregnancy update and I also wanted to film this other little video that I've been having on my mind lately, but my mood kind of took a strange change um, within the last couple hours and now I'm uploading a different video so I've kind of been battling with this for a good little while now and I don't really have too many people that can relate to me on this topic that are in my life at this moment and I don't really like talking to my husband about it because it upsets him um, when I'm upset he's upset so I don't really enjoy you know upsetting my husband when it comes to my family so um, this video is gonna be about like non-existent relationships with your siblings and or like estranged relationships with your siblings um, so there's five of us there is my little sister Cindy who well let me start from the oldest and work my way down so my oldest sister is Melissa Melanie and she's from my mom then I have an older well hold on I messed up already I have a half brother he's the oldest sibling he's from my dad and his first that's his first child um, then I have my older sister and then I have a brother and then there's me and then there's my little sister who is from my dad's last marriage so my relationship with my older brother who's from my dad's first that's my dad's first child um he lives in another state right now he's in florida and he has his own thing going on so we're not really talking and on the best of terms right now then I have my full blood sister. Um, she lives here in Texas and um, our relationship, she's actually, my relationship with her is actually the one that affects me the most. Um, I think about it every day and it weighs on me every day. Um, even talking about it now, I'm, I'm like already getting emotional about it being that she's my only full-blooded sister. Um, not that I do that half-brother-sister thing. You know, my little sister, she's from my dad's last marriage, but I treat her like she's my full-blooded sister. Like, the only way that we know we're not each other's full brother and sister is because we have different moms, but I never really had too much of an issue with my little sister as I do with my full-blooded sister. And then my brother, who's also from my mom and my dad, um, he's still in California. He never moved um, to Texas with us. And we also have an estranged relationship. So I still try to figure out like why, where it all went wrong and like why it all went wrong. And I can really never put like my finger on it and say this is the reason why it went wrong and this is why we no longer have a relationship as of lately she has done some things to me and to my mother that I do not agree with and as of lately that's why I have chosen to step back from um, even trying to have any sort of relationship with her but I could really never figure it out um, I mean Growing up, my sister, she got pregnant at a really young age. She now has four kids. So when she started off having kids, I believe she was like 15 when she got pregnant the first time. And she automatically moved out with the father of her child. And it was kind of a wrap from there. Like our relationship kind of stopped there. Um, anytime, and at that time, I was probably like six. I was very young when she first got pregnant so the memories that we had built are kind of like I could only see them in pictures like I don't even really remember like 
what our relationship was as sisters at that point because I was so young. So I only see in pictures like what our relationship was. And even then it's kind of like, I feel like in the pictures that I look at, she be looking at me crazy. Like I feel like she's always had an issue with me. So I mean, as of lately, the reason why I have cut her out of my life is because and I'm still struggling with that like even I just said cut her out of my life like I don't even feel right as a Christian as a spiritual person I don't want to say Christian because I'm I'm trying to take that label off of my spirituality I don't want to categorize myself anymore I just I know I'm a spiritual being so um even as like a um a woman of God it's hard for me to say that I'm going to cut my sister off. But I feel like in order to get some sort of peace, I have to cut my sister off. And even though and like even lately I've distanced myself completely from her and and her family and I still don't get peace because it's like and with my brother as well, like my birthday just passed and I made a video about that going through a rough birthday. My siblings didn't call me and it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's just a phone call. Your birthday's just another day, but it's like, why the fuck don't they think about me? Like, I think that's the most hurtful thing. Like, they're not there for me. I had my first baby, right? Not there for me like materialistic things you know really don't matter to me i would rather you genuinely be concerned about me on a daily basis like i think about you every fucking day why don't you think about me and if you do like as an older sister and an older brother why aren't you calling me why aren't you and i struggle so much with it like okay well if they're not calling you well then you call them but then when you reach out and the conversation is dry as fuck it's like well what the fuck am i doing so wrong like why why does everybody else have a relationship with their siblings i feel like but me like even when i went to, to make this video i said let me look on on youtube and let me see if i can get any advice from other people um, what videos they've made about having bad relationships with their siblings. I found like three videos. I found like three videos and that was it of people with estranged relationships with their siblings. And that's really why I chose to not do the other videos that I wanted to upload tonight and just come on here and just vent and just to like show the few of you that are out there like you are not alone like I suffer with this every single day and now that I'm pregnant with my second baby it's like my kids aren't even gonna have I mean my half sisters Cindy thank God for her that our relationship is flourishing and she's there for me and for as much as she can be she's there for me you know we live an hour and a half away from each other but like my daughter and my second child that's coming into this world they're not even gonna have aunts and uncles because of what like i don't even know what the reason is and i'm so emotional about it like i wish i can just say that it doesn't bother me anymore but but i mean like look at me like clearly it bothers me And like, they don't even call my mom. Like, they don't even call my mom. And I try to figure it out all the time in my own head. Like, what on earth? My mom was a great mom. My mom did what she could as a single mother for our, her kids. I could vouch for my mom in that area. So it's like mind boggling to me that my sister and my brother don't even call my mom and worry about her well-being 
Like, I call my mom every single day to make sure she's okay, to make sure she's breathing, to make sure she has everything that she needs. And they don't need, like, they don't do that. And it fucks with me. It fucks with me so heavy. So, I remember Slim Thug. I forgot who was on that song with him. But it was Joel Osteen and Slim Thug. And my husband always references back to this song. And I always laugh when he does it. But it's so fucking true. Like, sometimes, no matter who it is, your family is the worst ones. Like, sometimes you just have to distance yourself from people who are not giving you the positive energy like if you're giving them this positive energy and they're not reciprocating it and you guys are like unequally yoked and they're constantly bringing you down bringing you down bringing you down and you're trying to keep your relationship afloat with them but they're not contributing the same amount of effort and positivity then like you have to let it go and I can say that I'm letting it go, but like in my heart, I still yearn for that relationship because at the end of the day, that's my fucking brother and my sister. Like, how am I ever going to go on with my life and just forget them? Like, like my sister just went on vacation. I think she took like two or three vacations this year. I forget where she went but she's taken like two or three vacations this year and normally when you go on vacations I mean whenever I go out of the country I think about my family or I go out of the state or I'm going any fucking where I think about my family like oh I want to bring them this let me take some pictures for them to show them you know what we like nothing like nothing at all from this girl and she's 40 years old so it's like I can't use her age as an excuse anymore. Like, oh, she's young. and No, like, I'm the young one. I'm the one that should be, not even, but like, you know, if I were, to, if anybody were to have an excuse, it would be the younger sister. But I'm the baby of the three of us. And it's still nothing. And like, my kids aren't going to have aunts and uncles. Like, how fucking lonely is that? That's how I grew up dysfunction like my aunts and uncles fucking suck they never did shit for me and i told myself i wasn't gonna cry so let me get my myself together real quick i just like it, when people say that like the cycle is real like the dysfunctional cycle is so fucking real y'all like and even if, like, they say, break the cycle, break the cycle, like, you cannot break the cycle by yourself. I don't care how many positive fucking motivational speeches you listen to, you cannot break the cycle by yourself. And in that Slim Thug song with Joel Osteen, I promise he hits that shit on the head. Like, if this is not working with your family members that you continuously try... And this is not the season for them to be in your life. And even though it fucking hurts you so much, like, this is just not the season, you know? And who said life was fair? Life isn't fair. Life sucks sometimes. Life is beautiful in its flaws. But I mean, the emotions that we feel and the love that we feel for people, for our blood, is real. And it's like, I wish I could shake it. I really do because it makes me so fucking sad. But I'm going to keep praying about it. I'm going to keep praying about it. And if you're dealing with a situation like this, oh God, do I, I just hope. I'm like not turning into the sob queen because this is like the second video that I posted on my channel where I started crying but I just had to share this because sometimes I be needing to know that somebody else out there is going through the same thing that I am that I'm not crazy for feeling the way that I feel you know and if me crying on this fucking camera will help anybody else out there god damn it I'm gonna post it tonight 
Because I know I'm not the only one suffering from, like, a fucked up relationship with your brothers and sisters. And what really fucks me up is, like, all this shit on TV, even on YouTube. Like, my sister picks my makeup, or I'm going shopping with my sister. Like, is everybody's brother and sisterly relationship really that fucking great? Like, I don't know. Y'all tell me. Like, do you have a great relationship with your siblings? I mean, is it genuine? You know, you can go for drinks and coffee and go to the club and drink together, whatever. But, like, is it genuine? Like, do you really feel like they love you? Do they call you? Do they just give you positive, you know, words, friendly fucking words? Do they do that with you? So I kind of told myself, and I'm going to end with this. I told myself that I'm going to keep them in my prayers and I'm I'm really just going to pray about it and when God tells me to move, I'll move. You know, I'll try again with them when God tells me to. Not when I want to invite them for Thanksgiving or when I want to, you know, invite them for my baby's birthday or now I'm pregnant again. Like, I can't even share this shit with my brothers and sisters because it's like, why? This is something I'm happy about. This is something beautiful in my life. Why share it with these people who suck me dry? Why? This is my thing. This is something I'm keeping precious to me this time. I'm not even going to share it with nobody. Like, when God tells me, Christina, make this move now, that's when I'll make a move with them. But until then, I just have to keep praying for you guys. Like, Melanie and Matthew, I'm praying for y'all. You're always in my heart. I love y'all, but I have to distance myself because it just is unhealthy. So, I just had to let that out, y'all. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to try to shake this funky-ass mood that I'm in. Um, I'm going to go to sleep a little early tonight. And um, hopefully I wake up rejuvenated tomorrow. Actually, I know I'll wake up rejuvenated tomorrow. Filled with the Spirit of the Lord. And I'm going to try to get some more pregnancy videos out for you guys. And, um, yeah. And and I'm not really mad that I even put this video up because my channel is called Life Talk. Like, this is what I started off with. I started off with just letting go of, you know, just letting my emotions go on here. When I needed to vent, I would come on here and I would vent. So I'm not even mad that I'm posting this video. My channel is called Life Talk, and that's pretty much what this is. Just talking about life. The ups and downs, right? So anyways, I'm a little sleepy. Uh, I'm going to jump in the shower now and call it a night. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.